Grandmaster Jimmy Furtado here again. We're going to show you another one of the fighting movements of the, um, the monkey system, the Taishin Pequa Monkey Kung Fu system. This movement would be against someone coming in with a, a roundhouse punch. Most of the time you see people, they'll do uh, martial art demonstrations, but it's like a lot of times a rehearsed thing. They say, okay, step in with a reverse punch, and you know uh, what that person is going to do, your schoolmate. But in the street, you don't know what, how the opponent's going to punch or kick or attack. A lot of the fights I, I witnessed lately is most of the time that uh, these people are going head hunting. And no one is thinking about hitting low when a person's trying to hit your face. They're trying to trade blows face to face. And uh, everybody's trying to box it out in, in the street. And what's going to happen, the strongest fighter is going to win. And lots of times it's a street fighter taking out their uh, so-called martial arts fighter. Okay, so uh, we're going to... We're going to use traditional fighting technique that still works in this, in this day and time. The monkey is a technique, the monkey is a very, very, very fierce fighter when he's mad, or when he's fast, you know, or when he's angry. He's very unpredictable, he's, he's fast, he has good agility, he's very deceptive. Those, those are some of the monkey qualities. So, without further ado, we're going to have my assistant, uh, really come in for me, please. He's going to uh, demonstrate some techniques with me here. All right. Let's say that you get, we're going to go slow first. Let's say the opponent steps in with a hooky punch to the face. He comes in, lots of times people try to, they will go straight back or um, even somebody who throw, they'll, they'll get up like this right here, get up like this for me. And then the, the one person will throw a blow and he'll throw a blow, right? Let's say you know they're brawling in the street, you go, make your balls. You see people doing this in the street <laughs> and the strongest person going to win. What, what happened to the so-called martial art technique? So it's a lot of this sports stuff they're training today, and it's not practical for the street, um, especially if they have more than one fighter. You can't be grabbing one fighter and trying to hold him to the ground, and you got three, four more of his buddies standing up there going to kick your head in. Okay, all right, so this way here, let's just say that he throws a, a hooky punch or a wild punch to my face. The monkey would jump back out of the way, creating a distance, but not too far out, because at the same time, you want to make distance an hour I have a beat enough to in the zone, which I call the blue zone, to to able to make the attack, the defensive movement on the fight. Okay, so once he makes that swing, the monkey will move out in a poised, ready fighting position. If he tries to come back and hit me, wham, the monkey will grab that arm and then palm the face. Ha! Like that. See? Hey, you okay? <laughs> okay, my students are used to me hitting them. I never heard them. Um, makes them tougher. Okay, but uh, anyway, the monkey, again, if he tries, he'll break that arm, he'll hit the face, snap that elbow that way, and then when a no movement can kick that knee out from the fighter this way here. Whoa! See? And still holding that arm, if he tries to get up, ha! I can claw the face. See? Which actually going to slap the head back down to the ground as well. So let's try it again. He comes in, uh, makes a fighting position. And he gets in the street, starts throwing this type of thing, right? And he makes like this, usually like this thing. And he makes, <laughs> and he makes this hit, see? I move out. Paw! See? He tries to come back in. Paw! I, I, I lock him, see? I'm, I'm checking him. And then if he tries to move again, I break that elbow. And then I hit that leg. Paw! Yes! And I ah, break the arm here uh, if I have to. Ha! And I claw the face here, monkey claw to the face. See? And then if I feel like I might roll out. Okay, let's do that one again now. Of course, if you're not really trained in rolling systems, uh, I advise that to roll on the street. The monkey's very well trained how to roll on the ground and cement. My teacher, when uh, he trained me, Grandmaster uh, Pauline Singh, considered America's Monkey King. Uh, I was blessed enough to be one of his few students, and um, the only one right now under his banner teaching this system worldwide. Okay, he's only one of his only students. Okay, so um, he taught a lot of how to work from the ground, maneuver from the ground. When we train, we train on cement before we, we went to carpet. Okay, so he makes a swing. We're going, uh, not yet. We're going a little faster now, ready? Medium speed. He swings, ha! And we ride, he comes in, I check him, see? Ha! Break that elbow, ha! Sweep that leg, break the elbow again, ha! See? Try it one more time now. A little faster. Ha, 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 ha. Good. 
That's good. Come on up. He's still alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that's, thank you so much. Let's uh, bow to the audience. That's a little bit we'll do today for you on the uh, fighting system in the Monkey Kung Fu. All right. Let's see what I